Today, we're gonna slice and print this super small cylinder because I wanna compare how Prusa Slicer is gonna slice it versus how my slicer is gonna slice it. Let me explain. Using Grasshopper, I was able to create a function that essentially creates the simplest version of a rectilinear infill pattern that creates the perimeters and the lines in the middle. And then, using a Python script, I was able to turn that cylinder into lines of G-code. Now, the way my professor set up this assignment, the G-code is supposed to be extremely simple and set up for a Mark III S. I'm gonna try it on my Mark IV S by modifying the G-code to make sure that the start and end G-code is appropriate for the printer. But what you'll notice when we actually print it is that the G-code is going to be, well, you'll just see, but very simple. First, we'll slice and print the regular cylinder that Prusa Slicer is going to make. And as you can see, it's only gonna take one minute. And as you can see, the printer is doing this print very fast. Now, let's try it with my G-code. Printing my cylinder, it's not even extruding when it goes up, just when it goes down. This G-code was made a lot simpler for the sake of the assignment, and it's a lot slower since it was made for a Mark III S, not a Mark IV S. This will take about 15 minutes. Let's compare the two results when they're done. Well, on the left is mine, and on the left is the one made by Prusa Slicer. And as you can see, there are a lot of reasons why the one in Prusa Slicer is better. Mostly extrusion, speed, it, it's just better. But it was a cool assignment, and it's cool knowing that I actually coded something that works. So, as always, let me know what you guys think.